What's up everyone, today I'm going to show you how to connect the timer system with my lobby system. So if the host is starting the match, then you can see here, replicated on both players the timer. Then I'll show you how to cancel the countdown if a player is joining or leaving the lobby while the countdown is running. So if we're starting here the countdown, then kicking for example this player, you can see here that the countdown was cancelled. Just to clarify, you need to have watched my tutorial series about this lobby system to take it as a base. And then you also need to have watched my timer tutorial. And in the following, I'm going to show you how to integrate the timer into this system. So to start, go to your lobby UI. And here I would say we're adding the timer to this horizontal box. So dragging a new border to the horizontal box and calling it border underscore countdown. And I'm making this border here in the brush color black and here reducing the alpha a bit and adding a bit of padding to the left. Then I'm uh, adding to this border here a horizontal box, drag it on the border and in this horizontal box I'm adding a text calling it like game or setting the text to game starts in and I'm clicking again on the horizontal box and set it here centered vertically and maybe setting the padding to zero and on left and right bit padding and next to this uh, text here i'm now adding the timer and then finally i'm going here to the border countdown again and set this by default to collapsed and make sure to set this to is variable then in the graph, we can add a new function. And first of all, calling this here, start countdown. So for this one, um, we're going to create a new variable. Set this B match starting, setting this here to true then getting the timer set time i'm setting this here too you can set this maybe five seconds or i would set this here down to three seconds then just set go note and the start timer to forward false, then getting the uh, getting the border countdown, set the visibility to visible. Then also another function for uh, canceling the countdown. So I'm creating here a new function cancel countdown because oh, I can't take countdown because uh, let's say once a player joins or disconnects from the lobby during the countdown is happening that then the countdown will cancel and the host can decide again what to do and yeah cancel countdown here we are just setting the this boolean match starting to false getting the timer say here clear timer and then getting the border border countdown set the visibility again to collapsed and now we're going to the lobby pc 
and create here a new custom event adding a new custom event we call start match countdown you see setting this here run on only client reliable to true adding an input here okay, start a boolean then going in here with the branch and getting our love UI ref on true we are starting the countdown on false we are cancel the countdown next go to the game mode and here create a new function we call it start match countdown and adding here also input pin we start boolean and promoting this to a new variable make sure to select here promote to variable and here we are adding or naming this start match count down active then we're getting our pcs array for each loop and casting here to the lobby pc from where we then starting the match count on pc for the for this one here for this input we are getting this variable here get start match count on active then go here to the event graph and either if a player is joining or if a player is di disconnecting from the lobby during the countdown we want to cancel the countdown for all players and so in both ways here we go here and adding here a branch connecting the start match count on active here if that is true then we want to trigger the start match countdown and make sure that this here is on false then we go back to the lobby ui to the event graph and here where we say or where we, when we clicking the start mesh button then we don't want to execute directly here the start mesh you can disconnect this here but leave this for now because we will need this in a bit if we want to start match also still need here the cast to lobby game mode but we now want to start the match countdown it's that here start to true then going to the designer pressing here on the timer going down on timer reached goal implement this event drag this up here so if the timer reached its goal if it turned zero then we want to also first of all adding here a new branch checking if this is the host or if this is server and on true cast the lobby game mode and start the match and the very last thing that is relevant here is once the countdown is running i would also say that it shouldn't be able to uh toggle here the ready status anymore or yeah pressing this ready button here and for that we need to go here to toggle ready and going here or certain here for enabled and create a new binding we say here if match starting not so if the match is not starting at the moment if the countdown is not running 
then we want to be able to click the ready button and if the countdown is running then we should be able to click it anymore and we also need to do something here for the start match if you search here for enabled then we have already this implemented we create here a new binding and check here if we have enough players and if this is uh if this count on here is not like not boolean the account is not running then the host should be able to click this button and now the very very last thing before we are checking out the final result is that we cannot click this toggle ready button anymore now while the countdown is running but uh, you might still have the input for if you press r or whatever on your keyboard that you then also trigger the ready status and to block this while the countdown is active we're going here in the toggle ready status on server event and since that is executing on the server we also the server is kind of checking if the countdown is running now so just duplicate here or copying this get game mode and cast to lobby gm these two nodes we're converting this cast to a pure cast and checking here now if the start match countdown is active adding here branch and if that is false so if the countdown is not currently active then we can toggle the ready status and now let's check out the final result so if both players are ready and the host is starting the match you can see on both players the countdown and then the players would move in the other map then we also want to check what happens if a player is leaving or joining the lobby during the countdown is running here so i can show it here here with uh kicking a player so starting a countdown then kicking the player and you see the countdown was cancelled the other map the other player was kicked in its own lobby and yeah that was a tutorial for connecting the lobby with the timer and then see you in the next tutorial